Okay, so what we're going to do here today is have a look at the exchange of steel members from advanced steel to robot. So in this particular case, you can see I've got steel members modeled on the center line of the beam on, in this case, the bottom of steel, top of steel, the channel facing to the right uh, off, uh, set on the heel and facing the left set on the bottom of the heel. Okay. So in this particular case, it's important that we go and run the numbering before we can exchange it. Okay, this is important, this must be done. Um, and then we can choose to export using the export tool here, or it's actually the same file format as the Revit. It's not really that critical. The idea is we come in and give it a name. So let's go AS2Robot-1 and we've exported. We then come into Robot, we pick structure type and inside of Robot we come into the add-ins and to the integration area and choose advanced deal. Now everything you see here is as it is when you install it. No need to download anything. The advanced deal integration comes installed with Robot. We choose this, it brings up a dialog box. We choose we want to import, pick OK, and then go and find our file that we just created. So I believe that was the one we just created. You can see I've done this a few times. Pick OK. The system goes through, matches up the steelwork from, uh, from one to the other. And if there's any mapping to be done at the end of it, you can see sections, it's picked it all up. You can just pick OK. And the system has finished mapping. So as you can see, I, I've got all my bits and pieces in here. I've got my steel members, you can see there. I've got my 230 channel here. We've got our 200 channel here, and all these members have now been imported. Um, if we come in here and turn on our steelwork, our 3D steelwork, you can see that this member is facing to the left, this member is facing to the right, and irrespective of the, uh, the uh, insertion point of in advanced steel, it's still just taken it all at the same plane because in advanced steel technically all the lines or the member lines from advanced steel are all on the same plane hence you get the same inside of robot so it takes the system line to the location of where you want if say for example i want to uh, adjust this and change something so for example we change this member here to be, let's go 200 UB, whatever it is that we want to use, pick. You can see it's changed the section size. We can then come back into our integration, go to advanced deal, and again, bring a dollar box over, go export, and we'll give it another name. So final export back to AS, save, and we've done our export. Now when we go back into advanced deal, we can choose to synchronize or we can choose to synchronize. It doesn't matter. It's the same command. We come in, we load that file, choose our final AS and it comes back and tells you, look, the section properties have changed on this member and the position. Let's choose to apply that, pick OK. And you'll notice that Everything is still in the same orientation and location as before. You can see the system line is still on that corner edge. So if you come into position, you can see that where the channel was here, it's changed to that channel. Okay, well, there you go. That's the export and synchronize between the two different products.